In this Elementor tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the background color of any column on mouse hover. Now let me show you an example of what we're going to cover. Um, you can just see right here, this is a simple three column layout. And I want to add an effect where when the user mouse overs any of these columns to just go to a simple background color. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to easily do this all inside Elementor. This isn't going to require any sort of custom CSS, JavaScript, or even Elementor Pro. This is all built into Elementor, and in just a few clicks, you're going to be able to pull this off. Let's get right into it. Now I'm in the back end of the website inside the Elementor editor. To pull this effect off, all you need to do is go to each column that you'd like the hover effect and change the background hover background color. And to do that, you just select the column, go under Style, and under Background, click the Hover button. Under here, you would click this button right here, which says Classic. This will allow you to have just a simple background color. Now I just want to choose this tan color that I have down here. So I already have this pre-selected. And that's all you have to do. You just click the color you like, and now you can see within the editor that it works the way you would like it to work, where you just hover over the whole column. And to pull this off, you just do this for the other ones if you want to have these other columns the same thing. So let's just do that real quick. Hover, classic, and change the color. Okay, so now you can see within the editor it works. And what I recommend is going into test mode, preview mode, just make sure it works in the front end of the website. Yep, that works exactly the way that I would like it to. Um, I will recommend just make sure that you don't use a background color that could merge in with your uh, text color here. So for example, I wouldn't want to have a, a hover effect with a blue background because then the text and the button might fade in. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit the bell to receive notifications when I release new videos.